yeah. I remember when Leon was just like a name that would uh, get like ninth or barely scraped top eight at uh, a at, 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 uh, the the local the New Jersey local that shall not be named. Well, the Back thing is, the, the funny thing is about those New Jersey locals, because even like at Platinum Star, uh, Leon wouldn't always get the results there. And the problem is because it has beasts like, Jim, yeah. like it has like rivers who are about to watch. It has like at the time um, another frog. No way. Wow, this that's weird. Rain. Okay, I haven't heard of rain before, uh, but a very apt tag for a Greninja player. So good, good on him for matching a tag. Yeah, with this I, I appreciate that too. Yeah, because yeah, like, because nothing like being like. You know, like Mario fan sixty nine playing <laughs> like play. Ganon or something. <laughs> <laughs> like it's it's the worst. So I want to take a look at Rain's run. Okay, so Rain seems to have rode the wave. Although no, I think he had a good win too. He beat Oats, who was like a pretty crazy Kirby from upstate New York. Uh, he got a DQ win after that and took out Dark Puma, who I know has been putting in a lot of work lately uh, at DNA with Hero. So like. Had a little bit of a Bankai break, but not really. Like, he did still face off against some pretty threatening players. So, that's funny, though. James has to fight another Greninja. Yeah, this is weird, man. You, I think <laughs> it's the same. Is this the same skin, too, as the game yeah, one? Yeah, Ludwig Frog, uh, Frog plays gray. At the very that's least, really I know he I know he, ca he color counterpicked to do matching skins. He uh, did. With, he with did. The Diddy, but, like, I'm pretty sure he starts with this. Yeah, this is weird, man. Deja Vu all over again. Speaking of which, looking for those barrels. Instead, going to get some potassium and a punch. I wonder if Rain is going to do anything different than Ludwig Frog was doing, because Diddy can be a pretty hard matchup to grasp just because you need to learn how to deal with his out-of-shield pressure, plus Banana just being, like, I'd say bar none, probably, like, the best projectile in the game. It covers just, you, too, man. It's so good. It's got a lot of versatility. And it can ledge it. trap. It, yep. can hold it can hold down the neutral. It can hold stage control. Wow. But it can't prevent you from getting F-smashed in the back by a water source. That's, that's true. Um, but yeah, what I was mentioning before is uh, we even saw that banana literally covering James's back in the last set. Uh, <laughs> kind of just placing it your there, back, bro. <laughs> covering one option, whiffing, but then getting approached from his back and then having uh, Ludwig slip on the banana. Like, he's, he's just got all the uses down. Um, so we'll see here. We'll see what he does. Uh, he's able to close out the second stock sooner than later because I don't think... Probably not at this point in bracket where you want to let someone get back in, especially, you know, Rain probably, I would imagine, yeah. a good Greninja getting it this far. So I know Ludwig, uh, before, got off the ledge in that exact scenario in a much different way than Raid did. Uh, it's obvious that James is standing at roll distance right there, so getting off the... Getting off the ledge while Banana's right in front of the ledge and also while James is sitting at roll distance. I feel like your only option at that point is to just go from a jump from ledge or uh, hold up from ledge to get the ledge hop or to the tournament winner. Because uh, Banana does have these setups and you got to be very, very cognizant of it if you're going to thrive against James. That being said, James looks pretty comfortable right now. Uh, I'd say. Yeah, and that's a, that's a position that James will be in even when he's uncomfortable. He's just really good at keeping his composure a lot of the time. That's, I think that's just something that comes when you play the game so much and you, you get some mastery in it. But it's been kind of, it's been really cool seeing him embrace that with the Wi-Fi play recently. Because um, that's something we've always seen in these offline tournaments. But, you know, you see him in these, in these online situations and it really does remind you of just like the player, you know. Okay, good yeah. bear right there though to uh, to tie that off right there for Rain. Like Rain, not getting discouraged and hanging in there pretty handedly. I gotta say. Okay, this should be okay. Dropping the conversion right there. It's hard because like Greninja up throw is pretty good, but there's not really anything crazy. Yeah, true. Is it? Yeah. yeah, that's it. Down till F tilt or down till F smash. The classic. <laughs> Dude, yeah, the, I feel like the Diddy confirms. Back in you know, in Smash Four used to be so reliable. Yeah. You know? And then this game came out and they were less reliable. They were like, yes, yes. But here we are though, still seeing. Yeah, here them. we are. We are we still, still seeing them. <laughs> them. and they are still reliable. Maybe just not as like free. I believe Greninja is a fast faller, so it you know he might be more susceptible to that, uh, to the combos right there hitting. But James, you know, converting really, really nicely, just playing super duper solid. Rain did pretty well to hold hold his Dude, own Rain too. I just think a good game. these guys are trading back and forth a lot of the time, but I think James is just having the upper hand a lot of the time. It, it can be hard because with Greninja, you do need to have pretty precise kills, like that bear right there was, that really, was really, so really good. good. You need to kind of metal detect your kill out there. Well, where Diddy 
Gnosis confirms. Greninja, a little bit, you just kind of have to keep chipping away at the opponent so you can get your big hit to finish them off mm -hmm. uh, at the end. Uh, and against a character like Diddy, who's pretty slippery. Oh, uh, it can, it can be Banjo. Hard. Why are we seeing Banjo as like the second character to come out now? For yeah, everyone? for real. My, my pocket Banjo and is, the, is dope. And, and you know, this is a character James <laughs> has some experience with too. James was playing Banjo, huge mm -hmm. fan of... Uh, I should be saying Rivers, but you guys got the picture. But yeah, Rivers yeah. being a big fan of Banjo, but like many just disappointed in the characters. Uh, I guess we'll just say the character's design or character's kit, whatever you want to say, the character's mm -hmm. kind of bad. Or, you know, maybe boring. I don't know the right word. Yeah, James is definitely not a believer uh, in Banjo. Well, dude, even uh, Tweak tried making Banjo work. Yeah, like he was like, eh, as well. Like, if, if I feel like in most cases, I'm going to leave Steve out of that because I know Tweak also doesn't like Steve, but like, I feel yeah. like if Tweak can't make you work as a character, I'm definitely questioning <laughs> true, if you're yeah. a good character. I'm not saying you can't be. But like it, there, there's a pretty big check mark that gets, you know, or red flag, whatever. I'm just also thinking in my head, like normally when people pick a secondary, it's to typically cover a different spread of matchups than your main would be able to cover. So like, oh man, what character covers all the characters that Greninja struggles with? Oh, Banjo. <laughs> it is, it's strange. Like, huh? <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> it is strange. That maybe like the maybe he's trying to catch James gnashing a little bit with projectiles. Man. Yeah. Oh. I mean that's what Banjo serves to do, right? Is just keep you keep you out, for, kind of checks you. You he almost forces you to play neutral. I feel like a lot of characters that try to hunt for punches, like Banjo with his grenade uh, and Wonder Wing, are like great tools to really nail defensive habits, or rather, uh, and rather oh over God. aggressive habits as well. That was crazy, you barely hit him with that, but definitely gonna be enough uh, with the strong hit to take the first stock here, and. Uh, not a moment too late, or a moment too soon, I should say, because, for, yeah, I mean, I think this this counter pick at the very least does have James on his heels a little bit. Mm -hmm. But we have seen James adapt pretty quickly. That being said, really good. It's very important against a player, especially as, as skilled as James, is just close the gap as quickly as you can. Because if you let James ride his momentum, he will run all over you. Like, Rain did a great job right there just getting that. Uh, that being said, James respecting Wonder, Ring, uh, Wonder Wing range really really nicely right there like rain was like i'm gonna catch you on the back foot real hard and james was like i'm standing just far away enough from you to where i can give you these hands immediately as soon as you come out of that thing i think that's like that's the experience i think he has playing this character because <laughs> i know he does play the character a little bit but not to any real extent but i think he gave him an honest shot at one point so even just knowing range of wonder wing very important information because that is like the move this character yeah. has that does stuff and that looked crazy. And I got to hear the star KO noise. Yeah, I that's the that goofiest star KO ever. Oh, <laughs> dude, it's, it's, it sounds so beautiful. It's so goofy. <laughs> every time. I pop off every time. It's, it's, it's like kind of... It, is it like game accurate? Like, does he make that noise in his game? Yeah, he totally does. <laughs> When he like falls in a, a far distance, so it, it's hitting. <laughs> the, dude, Sakurai does such a good job making these characters true to form, man. He, he really puts like a that. lot of love into him. I feel like um, only one I feel like that got kind of left out of that was Violet. I feel like. So, I mean, it, yeah, it is I it is why. hard to make like a blank canvas protagonist, especially one as Violet. Like, treat them with love. Like, they still gave him all the. They still tried to make like they still the tried to make the character cool with yeah. all the weapons. Yeah, it's just like Violet doesn't really have a lot of personality in in he's, three houses. Dude, he's an avatar character yeah, like, he's to the fullest avatar extent. Character. You know what I mean? Like he's the immersion. It's not like Robin avatar character. It's literally because that was like a character character. He's like Violet is literally just like a blank slate that you're yeah. supposed to feel like you're just yeah. in the game as exactly. As Violet. Oh my God. Um, at least with like I'd say like. Because for an Avatar character like Joker from Persona 5, for example, like they gave him so much personality because he's just like this smug bastard, this smug like sneaky bastard when he's like a Phantom Thief. Like yeah, when he's like a normal high schooler kid, like yeah, he's like an Avatar character where very calm, very relaxed. But when when he's in his Persona, he's like he's just a smug little shit every time he does something yeah, mischievous. I like, I like that aspect of the Persona games where it's kind of like your dark, your, your shadow aspect, so to speak, which is like. You know, depending who you talk to, it's, it's kind of like a real thing, but it's just like, it's literally <laughs> exemplified in a way that makes for a pretty good, uh, good video game, and speaking of good games... GG's uh, James. Yeah, GG's James, <laughs> so that is going to be... Uh, James moving on the winter semis, so, uh, you know, if you're a fan of the stream for a long time, and not recent, 
uh, you love you know, to see it. Yeah, you, you know <laughs> to expect those sort of things. So happy to see it because actually, uh, Rivers came out last week. Look, that was so weird. That looked so strange. That was weird. That was the weirdest because it hit like only the last two hits of that up smash. But the, la the last one is the one you want. So. Yeah, that's the one. That's whatever kills you is, is the thing that matters. So, yeah, you know, I mean, I, I think Rain did a, a great job considering he the counter pick. Job. James does uh, have a really good grasp of this character. And I, I wasn't expecting it to be as competitive as it was because that really almost it almost went to a game three like not yeah. almost but like it was it was competitive enough to where it rain was rain played pretty well i think just the struggle is just like how to get in on james like he was he had no trouble finishing his stocks or whatever it's just that once you let diddy kind of play his game it can become a little overwhelming and you're forced to make decisions like that one right there by rain where like you have to hold down your neutral like Ban banjo's neutral is pretty good like he can really